Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I've got another viewer question and this one is from Mitchell who lives in the USA. Mitchell has asked me some very important questions whereby he's asking, do we have free will or is everything predestined with fate? So let's get straight into this today. What is free will, first of all? Free will is my own theories, philosophies, opinions, thoughts and actions that I freely do under my own soul intention. Wow, big word straight out of my mouth today. So let me break this down. My free will stipulates that I can do what I like, when I like and how I like to do it. Thank you very much, right? That's free will. So on the other hand, what is fate? Fate are predestined events that we cannot change. And regardless of how much we attempt to, generally we don't ever get to change those events. Okay, sometimes they occur to us personally, like marriages, births of children, deaths, that sort of stuff. But then we also have fate like wars, economic crashes, bank interest rates and all these other external factors that we also can't change because of fate. OK, predestiny, destiny are in the same category. So if I um, obviously I want to start there. In heaven, when I died, 2001. I learned that we do have free will, even though there are predestined fate events that do go in our life contract of our life path. OK, let me explain. If just say I was born, I was born in 1966. OK, I had to go to America and die over there. Because that was one of those predestined events that I signed up for in my life review. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, I had to be in America May 6, 2001 for when I died. Okay, that event was fate. It was destiny. Okay, however, free will comes in because I get to do what I like, how I like and when I like to do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I get to dictate what flights I'm going to be on. I'll dictate which taxi cab I take. Oh, I don't like that driver for some reason. I get into the other taxi. Those are my free will conscious consent consent whereby I can do things on my own agenda. OK. However, there are things in our life that we can't change. I have the free will to go today to buy my groceries. It's my discernment, my thoughts, my opinion if I decide to buy milk, bread or other things, right? However, coming home from the groceries, I may have one of those fateful events that I can't change where I meet someone. Dum -dum. So that's where we get those. I was in the perfect time at the perfect location for this to occur. Now, sometimes those predestined events are very good in our favor. It could be you meeting the love of your life. It could be you putting in a random lotto ticket and oh, what luck, it wins a hundred million dollars. It could be, though, on the other side of a flip coin, something not nice like a car accident. Or when we have some sort of medical um, medical event, um, stroke, heart attack or other things. Now, remember here, guys, a few years ago, before COVID started, I like talking about the lady who rang me so angry because she had a stroke. And I said to her, you've obviously signed up for this in your life path. It's one of those predestined events that you can't change. Because now you're in that opportunity to do things differently. Okay, so 
There are things that happen in our life for a reason. We can't change them. It's in our life contracts. Okay, now I'm the first one who says that in our life contracts, we can change <laughs> our contracts. There's subclauses everywhere. Okay, pardon me, all through our lifetimes. So it's up to us again under free will if we want to change those or not. Okay, and then we've got to make that conscious consent, give permission for our life contracts to be changed. Okay. All right, so I hope that that clarifies it today. As an example, I'll just go there. Imagine that you're 93 years old, you're rocking yourself in a, you know, you're 93 living in an aged care facility. You may go your whole life to have one conversation with the nurse where she comes in really angry and you put her in a good mood so she may go off, she may consummate and have a baby as a consequence of that right so she may go off and mate with her husband she may go and have a great day with a friend so that friend creates a ripple effect where they too have a great day see what I mean so our fateful events in our lives are not always just about us we could be in that perfect time at the perfect place to create something for someone else so please try not to put your ego into what you do, okay? Not everything revolves around us, okay? We're not the center of the universe a lot of the times. A lot of the times the angels put us into the position where we create the magic for others. And I hope that's what you want to do every single day, guys. I hope that's what you live for and strive for, to be the best version of you. And so you go out there and create the best version in others. So have a great day. I hope this is clarified. If you like the channel, please support me. My pay link, PayPal link is below. Please share this video and also please like it and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.